Hello everyone, welcome to the video class on cancer. In this video, I am going to give a brief overview about cancer. I am going to cover about basic terms used to describe cancer and how the cancer grows, what are the types of cancer and what are the treatment options to treat the cancer. Now this is my channel, you just type in my name G Sai Rajesh in YouTube, you will get this channel. I have 1860 subscribers and 121 videos related to science and 45,000 views. If you like the video content, do subscribe. Get into the topic. Now cancer is technically known as neoplasia. Neo means new, plasia means growth. In fact, in cancer what happens is there is an uncontrolled cell division is there. Cells will be dividing continuously without any control. Now this results in formation of a tumor mass. All the cells will continue to multiply and forms a tumor. So this tumor is because of new cell growth, hence technically it is known as neoplasia. Then why it is called as cancer? The cancer word is derived from a Latin word from crab. Now what does this crab do? They adhere to any part they seize. They attack and in a stubborn manner, obstinate manner. Now the cancer growth is also like this. They, whenever, whenever it forms at a particular organ, the growth is very stubborn. It cannot be killed by human immunity or from the external drugs. Hence, it is called as cancer. Now, we need to understand certain terms. Mutation means a change in DNA is known as mutation. DNA controls the cell's function. When, DN, when there is a change in DNA, cell function is changed and that is what is resulting in cancer. Now, the research proves that the major reason for cancer is mutations or change in DNA. Now, oncogenes. Oncos means tumor. Now, gene is an active part in DNA. So, oncogene means the gene which is causing tumor growth. Now, what happens is in DNA, uh, some of the genes will take control of cell multiplication or cell division. When, when there is a mutation in this particular DNA, Cell division will continue to take place and results in tumors. So in cancer, these oncogenes are highly activated and cells will continue to multiply and form tumors. The next one, tumor suppressor gene. As the name indicates, the job of this gene is to suppress the tumors. But unfortunately, in cancer, these genes are inhibited. Now look what is happening. The genes which are responsible for cell division are activated. The genes which will control this cell division are inactivated and these two are nothing but mutations and this is what is causing cancer. Now the final important feature metastasis. When tumor grows to a certain uh, length, after some time a, a small part of this tumor breaks away, moves to the other organ and there it develops as new tumor. This is nothing but spread of cancer and this is what causes multiple organ cancers. What happens is cancer starts with a particular organ, it spreads to other organs. When cancer spreads to other organs, what it does is it causes a process called as invasion. It attacks the adjacent cells and this is what is the main reason for the death of human being. It is attacking our own cells. That is why it is also known as internal parasite. Let us see the process. Now see, in normal cell development, a healthy cell will divide and forms a normal tissue. Whereas in case of cancer, the cancerous cells will double, multiply and they will form malignant tumors. So this is an abnormal growth. When you see in deeper, normal cells will be like this. Hyperplasia means increase in cell number and it is because of continuous cell division. Dysplasia, there is abnormal cell growth is there. You can see these are not normal cells, they are abnormal cells. Now in cancer, this is C. This is what happens. This is a basement layer. And in cancer, the basement layer is broken down because of this cancer cell. This is what is called as invasion. As I told you, the, the death in cancer is because of this invasion. They attack the adjacent cells. This is how cancer kills a human being. Now, uh, there is a difference between benign tumor and malignant tumor. Benign tumors are not cancerous. They are not cancerous, they are capsulated. That means, even though the cell growth is there, they are surrounded with a particular capsule, it is called as capsulated growth. They are non-invasive, they will not attack the adjacent tissue, they grow in slow manner, they will not spread, the cells are normal. Whereas, in cancer, 
the cells are cancerous they're not capsulated there is no capsule surrounding this one is there and they will spread and cells are abnormal so malignant tumors are cancerous tumors now see this is an overview of cancer see these are all normal cells and the central mass is cancerous cell it has got this blood circulation the blood supply is known as angiogenesis means formation of new blood vessel in order to multiply it needs blood supply so it takes up lots of blood supply and the adjacent cells will be having less amount of blood supply now once it grows it breaks this basement membrane and releases certain amount of cells this is known as metastasis these cells will spread through the blood circulation and attack end cells and this is how spread will occur moving to the next one now let us see in a step wise process what happens in cancer how does cancer form these are all the normal cells this is the cancerous cell growth the cells will continue to multiply continue to multiply and they will spread to the adjacent cells see when cells divide uncontrollably and spread into surrounding tissues it causes cancer uncontrolled cell division spread is nothing but invasion it attacks adjacent cell cells that is what responsible for human beings death now next one what causes cancer see mutation there is a change in genes and that is what is causing cancer see cancer is caused by changes to dna most cancer causing dna changes occur in sections of dna called genes genes are functional unit these changes are also called genetic changes as i have told you at the beginning we have two different kinds of genes are there onco genes are responsible for causing cancer and onco genes are highly activated whereas tumor suppressor genes which are supposed to control the tumors are inhibited and these two are nothing but mutations this is what causes cancer now what are onco genes i have explained already a dna change can cause genes involved in normal cell growth to become onco genes see they are involved in cell growth a dna change will cause the cell to grow abnormally uncontrolled cell cell growth and that particular fragment is known as onco gene where is the next one tumor suppressor gene now see in normal cells tumor suppressor genes prevent cancer but slowing or stopping cell growth unfortunately in cancer the tumor suppressor genes are inhibited so they cannot stop the multiplication of cancerous cells now now how does immune system interact with cancer normally immune system job is to attack this abnormal behavior of the cells the basic job of immune system is to control human beings from infections like bacteria virus but when there is an abnormality in our human cells the immune cells will attack but some of the cancerous cells will evade will escape the immune system attack and they continue to multiply this is what is the major problem with cancer next what causes genetic changes we have seen mutations or genetic changes are responsible for cancer and what is causing them first one hereditary genetically people will get it from their genes and uh, unfortunately they have more expression of onco genes second one uv radiation in uv we have three kinds of radiation are there a b c c is filtered by ozone which is very powerful but b higher exposure to b may cause skin cancer now chemicals are known as carcinogens certain chemicals exposure to these chemicals will increase the chances of getting cancer viruses like hepatitis b virus there is hepatitis c virus epstein barr virus and human papilloma virus all these viruses may also cause cancer what happens is they attack cells and they will change the genetic makeup of the cell and causes cancer now smoking one of the major reason for cancer is smoking smoking that smoke releases poly aromatic hydrocarbon and these are responsible for causing cancer and the genetic changes continues to divide the cells and that is what causes cancer now how does age related to cancer you can see this see the mu the basic reason for cancer is dna change which is nothing but mutation now the dna change is very less in case of children in adults some change is there but in senior citizens in elderly people the dna change is very rampant that is the reason why most of the elderly people are dying with cancer nowadays the genetic changes are very high in proportion now what is metastasis 
as i told you metastasis is a is a process through which cancer spreads now cancer cells look at this cancer cells can break away from the original tumor and travel through the blood or lymph system to distant locations in the body so there again they will cause additional tumors and this is called metastasis you can see see it here the original tumor is a colon tumor but after metastasis it it spreads to the blood and and it may attach to lungs and there it may form a tumor it becomes a metastatic tumor so it starts with colon cancer but it has become a lung cancer now it will not stop there metastasis may may occur to either it goes to kidney it goes to liver it goes to bone any organ will get affected now see again the same process the primary cancer is at here colon it may goes to liver and cause liver metastasis it may goes go to lung it may spread to any other part of the body how it spreads is uh, the metastatic tumor will be releasing small cells into the blood circulation as well as lymph so all these are carried through the blood and wherever they go and bind they will form a different kind of cancer so this is what spread occurs and that is called as metastasis now types of cancer uh, there are five main groups of cancers are there there are many kinds of cancers are there but these are the major five groups according to national cancer institute carcinomas are cancers which occurs to epithelial cells epithelial cells will cover all kind of cells when these cells epithelial cells are like basement cells when these cells get cancer it is known as carcinoma the next one is sarcoma means connective tissues when they get cancer it is known as sarcoma like bones tendons adipocell all of them are connective tissue now lymphoma as the name indicates lymph it occurs to lymph nodes spleen thymus and lymphocytes leukemia means blood cancer myeloma myeloid tissue means bone marrow when cancer occurs to bone marrow it is known as myeloma so these are all the major types of cancer one more thing based on the tumor size cancer can be divided into t1 t2 t3 and t4 these are all the four stages based on tumor size when the tumor is identified in the earlier stages chances of saving that subject is easy but in later stages or advanced stages the chances of mortality is very high or people will die when they when the tumor size get into this advanced stages now what are the treatment options you have see it all starts with if there is a possibility to remove that particular tumor surgery is the first option after that cancer is treated with chemicals known as chemotherapy <coughs> excuse me and then radiation is given if if any surviving cancer cells are there they are eliminated by using radiation now remaining options are based on the particular type of cancer <coughs> in case of myeloma bone marrow cancer bone marrow transplantation is one of the option whereas testicular cancer ovarian cancer prostate cancer all of them are because of hormones <coughs> in such cases hormonal therapy is given immunotherapy is given to enhance the immunity so that they will start attacking cancer cells the drugs which end with mab monoclonal antibodies are a part of immunotherapy targeted therapy again is given to particular type of cancers a certain type of cancer to treat cancer one so this is about cancer overview if you like the video do subscribe thank you for watching this video